You said you like to read fantasy? Yeah. Uh, what do you like about those books? Uh, it's just the magic and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. The things that go on that wouldn't really happen. And do you like to read? Yeah. Why do you like to read? Because it's fun. I'm a princess fan and I like to be Santa and I'm a princess. And do you like to read? You don't like to read. Why don't you like to read? When children continue to see themselves excluded in books, an unspoken message starts to sink in. Not you. You can't be a princess or a pirate or have a magical adventure or have special powers. You can't, um, until recently, aspire to be president. You can't aspire to be anything outside of the narrow boundaries of the stereotypical neighborhood that our books are going to set you in. And after a while, they stop trying and they learn to stop reading. Readers need a door they recognize into the world of reading. If all the characters and settings are white and European, there is no door into reading for almost 50% of our youth. As a college recruiter, I've seen firsthand how important it is to nurture a love of reading and create books that invite a child inside that world, not leave them on the outside looking in. Um, kids who learn to read for pleasure tend to do much better in college. Well, I think that it's how the real world is and that if you're going to be true to your readers and how the world is, that's what you should write. When I wrote my books, I didn't really consciously think of it, but just naturally I had characters from different races and cultures in my books, and I think that makes it seem more real. Fantasy can be the door many readers recognize. I have an older daughter who reads everything you put in front of her. In fact, she sneaks books to school. I have a younger daughter who hates reading. Most of the books that um, her sister was reading were too hard, and the books that the teachers were giving her were stuck in some stereotype or civil rights angst. So she stopped reading until she discovered Artemis Fowl. Now, because he's an evil genius like she is, she can't put the books down and neither can her friends and she's looking for similar books. So it isn't about a book, it is for every child producing the right book. Our mission is to publish these stories.